here is a continuity practice problem. Is the function g given by 1 third x plus 4 if x is less than or equal to 3, or 2x minus 1 if x is greater than 3? So definitely something is happening at 3, right? To the left and at 3, to the left of 3, we are using 1 third x plus 4. And to the right side of 3, numbers like 4, 5, 6, 7, you know, numbers bigger than 3, we're going to use 2x minus 1. So two different pieces, do they meet at x equals 3? That's what we are asking. Um, so we're going to use the definition of continuity to answer this question. So it's three part, remember? So part number one, we're going to test is g... defined at x equals 3. So let's find g of 3. Um, if you look at the inequality symbols over here, this symbol right there says use the top piece if x is less than or equal to because of this bar underneath, we're going to plug in the 3 into this top piece, okay? The bottom, you use this when x is bigger than 3. So plug in the 3 into the top expression to find what g of 3 is. So let's find that. That will be 1 third times 3 plus 4. 1 third of 3 is 1. So g of 3 comes out to be 5, okay? So, yes, g is defined at x equals 3, and we just found that g of 3 is equal to 5. So, moving on, let's check the second condition. The second condition is the limit, right? So, does limit as x approaches 3 of g of x exist. Okay, so in order for the general limit to exist, the left side limit and the right side limit must be the same. So we will find this by plugging in this number 3 into the top and into the bottom and see if they come out to be the same. Okay, so take a look at the notation. I'm going to write this. I'm going to write um, Let's find the left-hand limit first. Left-hand limit first. Limit as x approaches 3, oh, oopsies, x approaches 3 from the left of g of x is equal to, um, see the left side of x equals 3. We're using that piece, right? So you're going to plug in 3 into this red boxed expression. So that is going to be 1 third times 3 plus 4, which we did, and that came out to be 5. So the left hand limit is 5. Let's find the right hand limit. Right hand limit. Limit as x approaches 3 from the right side of g of x. Well, for that one, we need to use the bottom piece because the bottom of this expression, this piecewise function, is what we use when x is bigger than 3. Numbers that are bigger than 3 are on the right side of 3. So that's what we're going to do for the right-hand limit. So let's plug in 3 into this expression, 2x minus 1. So what is 2 times 3 minus 1? Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 minus 1 is 5. So guess what? These are the same. And that's good because when left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are the same, we get to say, yes, limit as x approaches 3 of g of x is equal to 5 because both the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit came out to be 5. If they are different, you're going to have to say, no, the general limit does not exist. So we did part 1 and part 2. Okay, take a look. I'm going to highlight the parts that we now need to compare. Okay? Um, for a function to be continuous, okay, at a given point, the function value, which we found in part 1, 
g of three was five, and the limit that the function is approaching to the from the left and from the right has to be the same. Notice that they're both approaching five. Well, the limit is five, and the function value is five. So here's the conclusion, and I'm gonna write that down here. I will say that I will answer the question now. I will say g is continuous at x equals three. Let's give them a reason because g of three equals limit as x approaches three of g of x. And both, well, I don't have to say that they are both five, but they are equal to each other. So that's enough. That's a great reason to uh, conclude that um, this function g is continuous at x equals three.